So we don't know the extent of Nick Bosa's injury yet. I do think it's interesting that it's a groin injury. He had a groin slash core injury in college that was serious and wiped out his season. I don't know if it's related. But I, what I do think is interesting also is how the Niners' defense didn't miss a beat without him. The Niners have a really good defense. And it's not just him. It's not just the pass rush. There were a lot of sacks in this game where they were covered sacks. Baker Mayfield had time, and he looked around and didn't see anyone and tried to run around and just ended up running into a sack four seconds or five seconds into the play. Cover sacks. And then you have the other ones where, you know, Nick Bosa gets there or any number of defensive linemen. I think it's really interesting how replaceable even the best defensive linemen are on this team. Now, maybe they'll need Bosa when they go against better offenses, but I think it's pretty clear. At least the way defenses are evolving, the, the linebackers and defensive backs play 100% of the snaps, but the defensive linemen are rotational players. They are platoon players because it's a high effort position and very few guys are elite at ru rushing the quarterback and stopping the run. So instead of trying to find that perfect defensive lineman and give them all the money, why don't you just rotate guys? Get some run stuffers and some pass rushers. That's what the Niners did in the second half, and it worked. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about the defense if Nick Bosa misses a few games. They may not beat Kansas City. They'll probably need Nick Bosa down the stretch in the playoffs to win a Super Bowl, but I, they didn't seem to think that he's going to miss the season. So maybe this will be good for the 49ers. You know, a, a few weeks without their best players so they can build the confidence that they don't need them. Because frankly, I don't think they do most weeks. We saw what that defense looked like. I mean, Traverius Ward, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Samson Ebukam, Charles Amenahu, Deshaun, uh, excuse me, Talanoa Hufunga, Deshaun, G the, the defense is stacked. So hopefully it's just nothing for uh, Nick Bosa. Hopefully it's not the whole season. It's just a, it's just a nothing burger or a couple of weeks. Um, but if they have to play without him, defense isn't going to be bad all of a sudden. I, that's a really good thing. To realize isn't that a confidence booster it's rough to, to lose players to injury but it's good to know that the team doesn't fall apart if one guy gets hurt who is the better coordinator today Kyle Shanahan or D'Amico Ryans um I'm gonna say Kyle just because he had a bigger challenge he was going against a decent defense D'Amico is going against a pathetic a pathetic offense and that's not his fault but there's only so much he could do a lot of that was just Baker Mayfield being Baker Mayfield. Uh, Gio, was that? Glojo says convince Baker's just a less attractive Jimmy. Exactly. He's like Jimmy's ugly little brother. <laughs> Glass half full guy says any chance not to trade for Burns or Brown. Nah, they don't have picks to trade. Alberto says big fan from Mexico. Keep it going. Run the ball. Thank you, Alberto. I appreciate it.